for video log number six, I chose an evidence-based um, systemic review um, on the topic of drug-induced hearing loss due to aminoglycosides. Um, it pretty much just, the review pretty much spoke about um, the correlation between patients who have been treated with aminoglycoside drugs and um, autotoxicity that they've um, developed because of it. Um, so autotoxicity is defined as um, a toxic or poisonous reaction causing damage to the inner ear, the auditory system, and or the vestibular system. Um, and most times it's drug induced. Um, and it says this toxic reaction can lead to hearing loss for many individuals. Um, autotoxicity as it relates to this article um, is a side effect of aminoglycoside drugs or aminoglycoside treatment. Um, aminoglycosides are typically used to treat um, or fight against gram-negative bacteria or myco mycobacteria um, to treat like septicemia, respiratory infection, urinary tract infection, skin infections, tuberculosis, um, and a number of other um, a, a number of other things as well. Um, the evidence-based um, literature review pretty much spoke of um, a pretty much like a, a report on how they found the correlation between aminoglycoside treatments and um, the induced the the incidence of hearing loss with those patients. Um, they pretty much found that um, because of because of the use of that. <coughs> Patients um, usually come up with hearing loss, and although they know that it's a side effect, they still use it as treatment for some of those um, diagnoses. Um, they were able to run multiple tests um, to find that out, as well as um, do cross studies um, between other um, facilities to find that information out as well. Um, they developed um, clinical questions. It was about a set of six clinical questions. Um, some included like what is the persistence of hearing loss in a person treated with target aminoglycoside? What is the, the likelihood of the aminoglycoside induced hearing loss affected by um, a specific dosage um, or a specific uh, affected by the route of administration of the aminoglycosides or if there's any, um, uh, any evidence of effective hearing loss due to multiple autotoxic drugs, just not just aminoglycosides by itself. Um, and then each question was pretty much broken down by um, a target aminoglycosides. There are um, different types of aminoglycosides. Um, it's actually like about 10 of them, it looks like. Um, from the literature search, they did, um, they kind of outlined an electronic database search uh, pertaining to the study um, on aminoglycosides and were able to pull out information that way from Pub Health, from Science Citation Index, from Cochrane Library, um, Health Source, just to name a few. Um, and they also did like a published um, peer reviewed journal as well to find out that information. Um, I pretty much thought that this, I chose this because I, one, I never heard of it before. Um, so I was like, this few things that I never heard of before. But um, also because I thought it was really interesting that. Some of those um, diagnoses that I list earlier are somewhat common for the most part. And um, to know that there are treatments that could help you feel better from one thing, but also cause like something so dr drastic as hearing loss um, is kind of a really, really big deal. Um, and I think overall with the study, it'll, it would really help maybe... Um, clinicians and scientists find other routes of treatment that are, um, don't necessarily include the aminoglycosides treatment so that um, patients can be healthy again, but also still um, keep their hearing. Because I think that is a really, really big deal that, you know, something that can treat your, tubercul your tubercul tuberculosis or um, your septicemia, it's causing you to lose your hearing. Um, it's kind of like training one thing for the other. Um, so that's the overall um, gist of the review that I did, and I'll also leave the link below if anybody wants to read it. It's a little lengthy, but it is very interesting.